Greetings everyone. Welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If this is your first time here, I absolutely welcome you. Feel free to look around if you find any of my videos interesting. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget that notification bell. This will keep you fully updated in any new video that I uploaded. To all my old and new returning subscribers, thank you so much for your constant love and support. It is greatly appreciated. In today's recipe, I will be showing you how to make Mbahali Nyankatang, Mbahali Gerte or Mbahali Netetu, whichever way you want to call it. It's a Gambian dish. It is made with fish, peanut, raw peanut and locust beans and all other good stuff. If you want to see how this dish is prepared, keep watching and without any further ado, Let's get cooking. Alright my dada's team, I'm going to show you all the ingredients you need to make your mbahali nyankatang. Here I have salted fish which is a geja. Then I have habanero peppers. I also have some fresh okra and eggplant. These are all my vegetables for the garnishing later on. Then I also have here 4 cups of raw peanut depending on how much you are making as well. Then I have here two cups of locust beans, which is the nete too. Then I have two bunches of scallions, which is the green onion. Then I have one medium sized onion and three habanero peppers. All these ingredients here are going to be in the blender. I'm going to blend them all together. Then I also have here smoked salted herring fish and smoked salted mackerel fish. Then I also have here three cans of mackerel. This will substitute to if you don't have the bunga fish. There's a fish in Gambia we call bunga, which is the kubabulaka. If you don't have that, you can use mackerel in the can. All right. So next, I am going to pour in my raw peanut into my food processor or you can um, blend it in any commercial blender you have. So you're going to go ahead and blend the raw peanut until it turns into a powder form. And today, the first five comment shout out goes to Bakari Kamara. Thank you again. I appreciate it. And the next person is Mansa Queen, who is also a YouTube content creator here on YouTube. Make sure you check her channel out. The next person is my in law, Kenneth Lewis. Thank you so much. The next person is Theo, the makeup lover. And also Janet McCormack. Thank you all so much. You guys were the first five to comment. And I also want to give a shout out to MK Impression for my YouTube logo and my subscribe button. So next I am going to take the fish from the can that I open up and put it in the oven and broil it for 10 minutes. Then I'm also going to add my salted mackerel fish and my salted herring fish i'm gonna wrap it in a foil paper and put it in the oven and almost like bake it or steam it for 20 minutes as well it's your life music So after 20 minutes, I took the smoked salted fish out, the mackerel and the smoked herring out. I am going to simply just debone it and take all of the bone out as much as I can. Then I 
then i also went ahead and add a little bit of the mackerel from the can that i broil in the oven so what i did was i thought i pressed the record button what i simply have here is my locust beans scallion onions and habanero pepper in here that i blend together Then what I'm doing here is I am going to blend in my salted fish which is the herring and the salted mackerel together and a little bit of the uh, mackerel from the can. I'm going to blend it with the blended ingredients which is my scallions, my habanero pepper, locust beans and my onions. Okay. After blended everything, this is how it looks like. The salted mackerel fish and the salted um, smoked herring fish with the onions and pepper and locust beans. This is how everything looks like. All right. So this is actually called dambahal. This is actually dambahal. So the nyankatang is the white rice. So what you're going to do is, like I said, depending on how much you're making, I blended four cups of peanut I am making a lot and I'm not using everything at once I'm only using half of it then I'm gonna save the rest and keep it in my freezer whenever I want to eat bahali nyankatang bahali gerte or bahali netetu I will just boil me one cup or two cups of rice and make my bahali nyankatang so this is how the bahal itself looks like that's why they said mbahali nyankatang. This is actually the mbahal. So I have more of the mackerel fish that I broil in the oven. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that fish and gently mix it into the ingredients. Not all the way, just gently rub it in and mix it together. Okay, so now our mbahal, sap sap mbahal is ready. Yeah. So next, I am going to add two small cubes of Maggi. You have to be mindful of the salt intake here because mind you, you already added the smoked salted mackerel fish and the smoked salted herring fish. So add salt to your own taste. If you don't have Maggi cube, you can use any um, Maggi you have or you can just simply use salt or none at all. So next, I am going to... Um, Add, I added four cups of water into my pot and I added my eggplant, okra and my habanero pepe, made my big pepe for the garnishing later and I also added a little bit of salt. So you cover the pot and let all the vegetables for the garnishing cooked thoroughly. I don't like mine to cook all the way until it's like pota pota. So it's almost like half and half but it's cooked. Then I'm going to take that out and set that aside. Like I said, it's for the garnishing later. As you can see, I added my geja in there, which is the salted fish. So in that same water, I am going to now add my four cups of rice. Okay, so I am going to cover the pot and boil the rice half and half. So this is the mbahal, like I said, I'm only using half of it and save the rest in the freezer for another time I'm craving mbahali nyankatang. So as you can see, the rice is um, almost cooked, not all the way. You want to wait till most of the water reduced down a little bit. And then next I am going to take the mbahal and just spread it lightly on top of the nyankatang which is which is the white rice i know nyankatang <laughs> so yeah so as you can see i have half of it left so i'm not going to use everything i'm going to save the other half for a later use when i'm craving mbahali gerte mbahali nyankatang or mbahali netetu whichever way like i said you want to call it so you're going to lightly spread it out like so and then cover it with a parchment paper or a foil. So now, this is the trick. You have to cook this for an hour, hour and a half. Because you want your raw peanut and the locust beans to be thoroughly cooked. You don't want it to be raw. So cook it for an hour to one hour and a half. 
then in a low medium heat mind you in a low medium heat my heat my stove range from one to ten and it was set to number three okay and slowly cook it until the peanut and the locust beans is thoroughly cooked because the other ingredients they are the fish and stuff they were already have they were already cooked anyway and the onions doesn't take long to cook so this is how it looks like if you don't want your mbahali nyankatang or your mbahali gete or mbahali nete to, to be too um rich you can scoop some out i like mine really rich i want to taste that locust beans that onions and that fish all that mixture into the rice so if you don't want it too rich if you just want it lightly you could scoop some of some of nambahal out okay um so then you're gonna just mix nambahal and the nyankatang which is the white rice together until everything is well combined like so and don't forget my two previous video in case you miss it my lahi jine job that i made um previously i made two previous video in case you missed it then i also made some um okra and spinach recipe that i made under 15 minutes in case you missed that as well so i went ahead and garnished my mbahali nyankatang with my vegetables my okra my eggplant and my big pepper and stuff if you have jahato which is the bitter tomato oh my goodness that's another um um Thing. it will take it to a whole nother level so i just wanted to show you guys how it is enjoyed you can actually eat it just the way it is like so but the other option is to sprinkle heat up a little bit of palm oil in your microwave or your stove and sprinkle a little bit of palm oil like so on top of the rice if you don't have palm oil you can use melted butter okay so you have the option of eating it with melted butter or the heated palm oil so this is the mbahali nyankatang guys if you have never tried mbahali nyankatang before a gambian dish you want to try it if you like if you those people that want to try all sorts of different nationality recipe and you never try this dish i will recommend you try it you will thank me later and don't forget to be one of the five to comment one of the first five to comment on my video so that you will get a shout out from me from my next video and if you are new here you like one or two of my videos you find them interesting i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel until i come your way next time don't forget to like this video the more you like the more it helps my channel don't forget to share and leave your comment down below if you have any question Isn't that beautiful, guys? This is how the Mbahal looks like. Oh my goodness, it's a must try. It's a must try. Who said you can live in the diaspora and don't eat all of your favorite African dish, especially Gambian dish? Oh yes, you can. Oh yes, you can. You can make your own Mbahal, freeze it whenever you wanna make Mbahal in Yankatang. All you gotta do is just boil your rice and there you go. Like I said, if you don't have the palm oil, Feel free to use melted butter and just sprinkle it on top and enjoy. Yes. So thank you all so much for watching. Until I come your way next time. May peace be unto you all. Shalom.